Good morning, everybody. Glad to have you here today. You're in the middle of the week. Hope all is going well. And invite you, if you're uh, in a position where you're able, uh, to uh, follow along with me uh, in the 30th, uh, 30th chapter of Proverbs, where we will begin and end in the 20th verse. Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 20. There the Proverbs says, Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. It is clear uh, the main intent uh, of, uh, of this passage. Uh, I do think there is a broader uh, application as well that uh, we will look at uh, as we uh, go through this. Uh, again, um, point out to you that even though all the, uh, the descriptors here are feminine, uh, woman, she, her, um, the truth applies to male and female. Uh, again, it was just a, uh, it was their way uh, of writing, uh, not exactly uh a perfect comparison, but similar to the way uh, many times boats, for example, ships are uh, addressed as she. Um, the, it was a common practice for them to just address as she uh, everyone. And uh, obviously, as uh, we look at this, um, it is speaking of uh, sexual sin. And we are being warned to avoid um, any uh, connection with um, a uh, someone who is involved in immorality. And they are described as someone who um, just uh, goes about their adulterous, immoral lifestyle and uh, then uh, makes excuses of various uh, various types for uh, their behavior. Um, you know, everybody's doing it. Um, we live in a different time than uh, things are different today. Um, you know, those kind of things. Um, rather than just, uh, rather than acknowledging and recognizing that they are um, neck deep in sin. And Again, while this passage is specifically, obviously, uh, talking about someone who is uh, adulterous, immoral, uh, I think we can take that same principle and broaden it out uh, to sin in general, uh, that we need to be careful uh, that we are um, honest with ourselves, uh, honest with others, honest with God, uh, that we don't... Um, live a sinful life uh, and then uh, try to justify it um, by whatever means everybody else is doing it um, again well my mama didn't do right when I was little <laughs> uh, all those things that uh, people come up with uh, wasn't my fault uh, those kind of things um, if God didn't want me to have it, it wouldn't been, wouldn't be out. That, you know, all the kinds of ways people try to justify their sin. Um, and again, that's, I think, the broader um, application of this proverb. There is no justification of sin. Um, we can't explain away uh, our immoral, wicked actions. Um, we are uh, guilty uh, and need forgiveness in the sight of God. And uh, so I hope you'll think about that today. Um, is, is there anything in, in our lives, uh, anything in your life that you are uh, trying to justify? Uh, down deep in your heart, you know it's wrong. You know that uh, God is not pleased, um, but um, you're making excuses. You are uh, trying to justify. And, um, but in your heart, you know uh, that God uh, is not satisfied, he is not pleased uh, with the choices uh, you're making. Something for all of us to think about today. Hope you have a good one. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning.